everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I'm so happy that you're taking a few minutes to visit with me tonight. Okay, so I'm super excited about my project. You guys are going to love it. It's so adorable. So we're going to pop right in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification button if you have an extra second. Okay, so we're using a lot of, do you guys see all these blends? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, yes. We're using all of these blends. I don't think we're using these though. Oh, and we're not using these. Okay, sorry. I changed my, my mind in the mid project of what I was doing. Um, I'm using the Coming Home stamp set along with the Home Together dies. I'm just going to make a card that's not Christmassy. I thought it'd be fun to give you guys some different options when you're looking at our seasonal stamp sets. When you're thinking long term, it's fun to um, have some ideas of other projects that you can make with the stamp set. So instead of making this a Christmassy one, I just had a Christmas online class. This was part of one of my retreats. And I'm going to show you how to make just a super adorable card. But I wanted a sentiment. This doesn't have any sentiments with it. I pulled out my Rustic Retreat stamp set because I thought this thinking of you, um, woodsy, you know, rustic uh, sentiment's going to work perfect. So let's jump right in and we're gonna start with our coloring. So if you have the stamp set, you can color stamp along with me if you don't own any of these products yet. They're all available if you're in the USA on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com and I'm Robin Carden. Okay, so we're going to be using this one right here, this little house, and then we're using this tree. And I believe that's all of the stamps from this set. And then from the Rustic Retreat, we're using Thinking of You, but if you don't own this, you can pick another sentiment from one of your stamp sets. And then from the dies that come that come with the, you can get these in a bundle right now. We're going to use this one right here. And then we're using this one to work with the house. And then we're going to use the tree. So we're just going to use three out of those. So let's go ahead and start our stamping. I am going to, we'll start with our soft suede and just get this one out of the way. This is our soft suede classic stamping pad. And I'm going to stamp that on a piece of our crumb cake cardstock. So just go ahead and ink it up and then stamp it. There we go, set that aside. Okay, and now we're going to take our Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad and I'm going to ink up one of the, or this house that I showed you already. There you go. And, oops, <laughs> oops. And then I'm also going to go ahead. Now I'm stamping on Whisper White cardstock, and this is just one of my extra pieces. They come in sheets of eight and a half by 11, and they come in packs of 40. So you get quite a bit to work with, but I use them all the time. All right, let's go ahead and we'll do our trees first. I'm using the Granny Apple Green, Green Combo Blends and I'll use the dark first. And I'm gonna show you how easy these are to blend. I'm just going to put a little bit of dark on one side. Just I just kind of swipe it up. You don't have to have any, there's no perfection involved in paper crafting, especially with me. I just kind of have fun with this artistic form for me. I'm just going to add the light now. And it's okay if you go outside of the lines a little bit. And I'm saying that because I just did. And so it's going to be okay. If I go out of the lines, anyone could go out of the lines. Okay, so now you'll see, I'm going to color these both in. I'm going to show you how to blend it really super easy. You can have your images where you can see the darker colors more dramatic. Or if you want it to be more soft and kind of blend in, then you'll just take the lighter color and you'll just keep, I just kind of go in a circle, circular motion and I just kind of circular it. In. I'm not editing anything out by the way. So there, but there we go. There's the difference. This is the one that I blended in, took what, 10 seconds and this is the one that I didn't. So I'll just hurry and blend that in. And I will have a list of all of these items in the description box of this YouTube video, or if you're watching this from mypinkstamper.com, everything is listed below just to make it super easy for you. You don't need to have to go 
looking for it later. So we're going to do the tree trunks now. I'm going to start with the dark. I'm using the soft suede. I'm just going to do a little bit right here. We'll use this in a second too. And then I'm going to take the light soft suede and I did want my trunks to be a little blended too. So I'll show you the difference again. So you see how they're dramatic and drastic. And then I'm just going to blend this in. And this one is not as noticeable, but it still gives it a little bit of a, a shadow, a shade. I'm going to take the um, dark again and I'm gonna use the bullet tip. They come with a brush tip and a bullet. And I'm just going to do the, is this the ridge? Is this called the ridge of the house? No, the ridge is the top, right? It's, I know under the soffits, I'm not really good at what these are. I just thought I wanted a brown roof. There we go, brown roof. And then now I'm going to, I want the body of the house to be, I'm gonna use the brush tip. Mine is a little well loved, so I'm gonna turn this sideways. Okay, I did that one really quick, and now I'm going to take the light of this soft suede, and I'm going to do this part right here. Okay, so I'm going to also use this light and just kind of blend through here a little bit. You could see some of the lines, but they will actually absorb. Okay, so we have that, and now we're going to, I wanted to have, um, I'm using the dark of the Bermuda Bay combo, and I'm trying to decide which tip I should use. I'm being brave right now. There we go. I'm going to have a nice, I thought it'd be fun to have a nice bright Bermuda Bay, so it's kind of like a darker turquoise door. It's just a fun, this would be my cabin out in the woods. You might see some pink on the inside, but I, don't, I think I'd keep it like this on the outside. I'd have my a pink car maybe parked out in the front. Okay, so I'm using now, I'm using pool party and I'm using the dark of the pool party. So there we go, there is all of our coloring. And now I'm going to use the dyes and do something super fun. All right, so let me pull out my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And I'm gonna put this right on here. I'm going to add the house frame on here. And then I'm also going to add one of the trees. And I'll do the other tree right after. Now, it's okay if it's not perfect. If it doesn't line up, it's all right. You want your family and your friends to know, oh, that's homemade. Oh, I love that. That's so cool that they thought of me. They made me something. If it's too perfect, they're going to just not even wonder. They're going to think, oh, they bought this at the store. A machine made it, right? Whoops. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other tree super quick. And I want my... There we go. This might be a longer tutorial just because you're getting you're getting a lot out of it. So some of you might even be crafting with me. You have this on in the background. I've heard some of you watch my videos while you're getting ready for the day. Just to hear it and get your day crafting and going, right? Get some crafting inspiration for you. All right, now I'm going to take these two pieces. I have two pieces of Granny Apple Green. This one's cut it, let me think if I can remember this. I believe it's, I'm gonna have to pull out my, whoops, I'm gonna have to pull this out, I knew it. Okay, so this one is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then this piece, I think it's three. It's two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I'll have them both on the screen for you. I'm going to start with the smaller piece first and I'm gonna use this, um, this border and I'll go right up to, so this one I'm gonna have all the way over this way, and just make sure that this part goes over, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna have it down just a little bit, like right there, okay, that's gonna work. Put this on here and then run it through. And what I'm doing is I'm just making kind of a layer. If this one I'm gonna go all the way over this way. And um, just make sure your trees are not hanging off, okay? There we go. And this will make it so it's going to give it a fun little three-dimensional look, which, oops, 
I don't know what I just did there. Okay, here we go. Now I have to line it all up again. It's okay. I know you guys enjoy the process, right? Let me make sure that this one is... Yep, it's gonna work. Okay, put this on here and push this down and run it through. And while we have my art stamp and cut and emboss out, we're gonna do a little bit of embossing really quick okay so we have that and I'll show you what we're going to do with it in just a minute and I'm using this embossing folder I already forgot the name of it I'll have it on the screen I think it's is it textiles I don't remember I don't recall okay so this is four by five and a quarter this is our Bermuda Bay card stock and it's beautiful for this card it's just nice and bright I wanted to switch it up I've been using a lot of pinks lately or reds and greens because I've been you know doing a lot of Christmas cards and videos um, but it's just nice to get back into an everyday project for a little bit okay so now I ran that through and I have a piece of paper on my finger I have this nice it just gives me a nice little grainy kind of a texture so I thought that was fun so now we will go ahead and start layering things up so I'm gonna start with let's see what am I gonna layer up first I'm going to lay this here and I'm going to take this piece that's the one that's a little bit taller and I'm going to use, uh, I'm using the Stampin' Seal Plus. I kind of drew a blank for a second. I'm like, what am I using? I'm using the Stampin' Seal Plus and then I'm using a little bit of our multi-purpose glue just on the trees, just so they kind of stick. I don't want them all hanging everywhere. It's okay if they did a little bit, but not a lot. And I'm going to add this right here at the bottom. And it should go from side to side unless I cut it the wrong size, which sometimes I do. I've been known to do that. All right, look at how fun that is. Isn't that fun? It's just fun. It's just a beautiful bright day with bright green. I just love it. All right, now I'm gonna take this piece here. And before I add anything over here, I'm going to take my house and I'm going to add adhesive to the bottom part of it. And then I am going to just add it right here. Just a little bit in on this like this. Okay. And now I'm going to turn this over. How am I doing this now? I'm going to go ahead and add my trees first. I forgot. I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive and put it on the bottom of this tree. It's just going to kind of hang over here. Isn't that fun? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. You may not have even noticed this in our catalog, but I'm gonna have this one go down a little bit lower. Okay, so now, but that's not all. So now I'm gonna, but wait, there's more. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to use our foam adhesive strips and I'm going to start. Now, let me explain this. We do have our dimensionals as well and those pop-up items, but they're a little bit different thickness than these than our foam adhesive strip. So if you're using one, don't use the other on the same layer, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I just put some on there and now I'm going to take a big old strip and I'm going to go from one side to the other and then one side to the other. Now I'm going to take all the backs off. This is probably my favorite card I've made in a while and it's not pink, can you believe that? It's not pink at all, but don't worry. I'll have more pink cards for you very soon. Okay, I'm just going to leave that on the side for a second. This is our card base. This is crumb cake. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. I also used crumb cake, remember when we stamped that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use our bone folder to fold this in half so I have nice and tight creases. You're nice and tight, you crease. There we go. You can also score it at four and a quarter to get a little bit of a tighter crease. Okay, now I'm just going to carefully use our CO Plus and I'm gonna go around all four sides and just take your time with this. Our CO Plus is super strong, so sometimes it tries to pick up the fibers of the cardstock and then I have to remind it that don't do that. All right, now I'm going to add this on the crumb cake like this and then we're going to add this piece. Are you ready? You ready for it? Um, from side to side, add it just right on top of the bottom of your green. There we go. Okay, 
and so cute. Now we're going to take this piece here and we're just going to grab our scissors. I'm going to just leave a little bit of space around it. All right, so I'm gonna add this up here. Isn't this so adorable? I hope you all enjoy it. I wanted to give you just a different idea or maybe this could be a Christmas card for you for those that and live in a place that doesn't have snow, or you could use this for summer or for any time you'd like. Hope you like what you saw. Please give me a thumbs up and I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Please leave me a comment. Don't forget you can find me, more of my video tutorials, my weekly product spotlights, and my weekly giveaway on my blog, mypinkstamper.com. I will see you guys soon, bye-bye. <laughs>